Gemini. Welcome back to the channel, Air Sign. It's me, Tony, with your channel love messages for today. Let's take a look into your energetics and see what's currently surrounding you in love and what's coming towards you in love and romance. Welcome to the new month, November. What are we in? Scorpio season? Officially. <laughs> Let's see. In the matters of the heart, what's coming towards Gemini spirit? Can I have messages for our Gemini collective, please? Por favor. Messages for Gemini in regards to love today, spirit. What does Gemini need to know in regards to love? There you go, showing up in your reading. Lovers. Communication is key. This could even be soulmate energy permeating you at this time. This person who's coming towards you could be in your soul tribe, possibly your divine counterpart. Let's take a look. Two of Swords, Libra energy. Mm -hmm. This could be, <clears throat> I'm getting miscommunication, but this could typically be blocked communication. Miscommunication for me is the Five of Swords. So this person, you may not see this coming here. Mm -hmm. This could be someone that wears glasses. The Two of Swords is also a flight layover for me as well, like jet lag, so I'm not sure if this person is a traveler. Two of Swords is also an indication of me, indication for me of not being able, either they're not accepting the truth or they can't see the truth or they're lying to themselves. Let's see. Date of Cups, walking away or detachment, it's introspection. So this person needs to look deep within themselves. It's almost, yeah, I was getting this. You may not be this person's usual type here. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look into more of the messages here. Two of Wands, they're watching you from a distance. We have a two, a two and two synchronicity. Yeah, they, they're, it's, like, <laughs> it's like they're watching you, but they can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe this is my person. It can't be. <laughs> Planning, yeah, from the Two of Wands to the King of Wands, yeah. So this could be a leader or a strategist here. Mm -hmm. Very passionate. This person may even be ego driven, right? Possibly going through some sort of an ego death at this time. I'm not sure that's for some of you, take it how it resonates. This could be a content creator, an athlete, a fighter, an adventurer, adrenaline junkie, that sort of thing, an actor, or someone that's very animated, very expressive, not saying that they are emotional, but they can be very expressive. They can be very beautiful, right? Very charismatic and attractive. The Empress, yeah. Mm -hmm. Call her your soulmate. Mm -hmm. So we have an Empress coming towards you. Libra, Taurus, uh, yeah, just a very creative and abundant individual, very fertile, right? Even a man, they're very fertile in their ideas, they're abundant in their creativity, right? But the Empress is a woman archetype, however, so yeah, very beautiful woman. The sky's a the, the sky's the limit with this female is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. What's at the bottom of the deck? The lovers and nine of cups. Yeah, wish fulfillment. <laughs> I don't know, maybe love is growing on this person. Mm-hmm. Fulfillment just again, it's like I can't believe I can't believe it's not butter. It's almost like, um, even as a kid, you don't like vegetables and then you grow into liking vegetables, or it's like growing is like, um, an, an acquired taste, right? Inherently, as a child, beer I mean, you shouldn't be drinking beer, wine, and alcohol as a child, but then you and then as you get older, you realize the value of like alcohol, beer, and all that type of stuff. So, it's an acquired taste here. Is what this person is, uh, how they feel about you romantically. <laughs> this could be, um, you know, interracial relationships. I mean, you never thought that you'd date someone outside of your culture. Or um, another example is food, right? You never thought that you'd like this sort of a food. Or when it comes to traveling, because I got the Two of Swords here, which is like my jet lag card or my flight layover. You never thought that you'd enjoy this vacation or this particular place that you find yourself in, right? But, um, yeah, the lovers and the empress. So, yeah, this is your person. 
they're coming towards you. This may be communication. Mm -hmm. Incoming communication. King of Wands. Again, yeah, you're both very attractive. This is the law of attraction at work here. 22 synchronicities or two and two. So, yeah. Mm. So, face value. I'm not sure if you should be taking things at face value or, um, yeah, just let things unfold naturally. Right? Don't uh, get attached too fast. You know, don't don't get offended easily, right? Be detached with this person. Not saying be cold, but this person may come towards you um, not expecting. This is like going on a date and not expecting, like, going for the sake of going for the experience and not expecting, like, oh, my God, I'm going to fall in love on the first date, all that sort of thing. Like, you know, it's not like that here, right? But I definitely see um, positivity here, yeah. But that is what I have for you here, Gemini. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Catch you on the next one. Peace.